What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We've got Miss Brady over here, my Chilean rose hair. And today I really wanted to talk about um, how other cultures perceive spiders um, because in America it's really interesting, um, or in a lot of countries it's really interesting actually. I have always um, loved Halloween because that seemed to be the only month where spiders are actually celebrated and uh, they're looked upon as, as a nice thing, even though we kind of like exploit it for decor or whatever. But um, it wasn't until I learned the story of the Christmas spider um, a few years ago where I actually realized that other cultures see spiders as a, a really positive thing or other parts of the world. So I wanted to share some of that with you because I think it's really interesting. And I'd also really love to hear if you're from a different part of the world um, or a different culture, how do you guys view spiders if you have a different view? So in the US, um, and I'm sure other areas of the world too, but here at least, um, we have a few different ways of portraying spiders. And it's interesting because it seems to vary with age. So like, I think when we're younger, um, we get more positive associations with spiders. Like we have the itsy bitsy, uh, spider song that every kid knows and and i really love that song and uh i wouldn't say that that song is necessarily a positive or negative portrayal of spiders it's just about a spider climbing up the water spout but um it's not like a fear-mongering store story of spiders um and also kids really like the song they really like to do the the hand motions with the spiders and so i think it's actually it can be a positive uh song about spiders um, and then we also have things like Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is a really beautiful story with one of the main characters being a spider. And um, Charlotte represents a lot of beautiful things. She represents friendship, kindness, um, love. Um, she represents also like uh, the circle of life in that story as well. And, and so I think that Charlotte in that story is very, uh, it's very positive representation of a spider but then it seems like as we get older <laughs> um it gets a little bit different you see more depictions of spiders in a negative light um perhaps we're absorbing more messages from our parents or people around us or our peers and uh you know if you're thinking about portrayals of spiders in movies and shows and media um you have shows like arachnophobia where like there's these big huge spiders um and uh, even though like some of that is pretty comical, they're still being portrayed as very scary. There's also a lot of shows like Fear Factor, who uh, those shows used arachnids and insects like cockroaches, spiders, all sorts, tarantulas, all sorts of creepy crawlies um, to be very negative things and to be uh, things that terrify people and uh, are used for shock value. So I think, uh, in the US we have interesting ideas about spiders and it's really mixed and it's really down to like a lot of marketing stuff um, and also like a lot of passing down of fears. Um, I would say generally um, a lot of people will think that spiders are disgusting or scary but my hope is that with the growing tarantula hobby that um, maybe that'll change. Maybe people will actually even people who aren't interested in getting tarantulas will start to learn more about these beautiful creatures. I know that in the medical field, there's a lot of research being done about how useful um, things like tarantula silk or spider silk, um, the venom, different properties of these animals can actually be very, very helpful. Now, I did mention the Christmas spider story before. This is a beautiful story, and I believe that um, it is uh, popular in a few different countries. So uh, I think that maybe in Europe, at least, um, Ukraine, uh, I think Germany has um, a story like this where um, this beautiful story about how um, spiders decorated the Christmas tree with um, their webs and made it so beautiful. And that's kind of where like the idea of tinsel came from because it's like that stringy, shiny stuff um and how it's it's to represent really positive good things so i love that story i'm gonna leave a link to uh the christmas story for you guys below so that if you don't know this story you can know it because i think it is awesome 
So yeah, in some countries, um, the spiders represent very good things for Christmas and are really appreciated in the home. Uh, so I was doing a little research and I found out that in Chinese culture, spiders are seen with a few different positive associations. So they're seen as happy insects, so benevolent insects. Um, they are also seen, they're also thought to bring happiness in the morning if you see a spider or come across a spider and then wealth in, at night. So they're basically seen as like a luck, a good luck symbol, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, in Native American culture, spiders represent the web of life, which I think is like so beautiful and holistic for that, for that culture to say that. Um, I really liked learning that in like folklore, uh, spiders symbolize patience and persistence because of the way that they do hunt and make their webs and homes. They set traps and they use these like kind of like weight and then attack hunting techniques, um, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I think that's actually quite beautiful um, because yeah, I can totally see how a spider would represent patience and persistence. There were actually quite a few cultures that, that did look at uh, spiders in a really positive way. I couldn't find, there's a lot of like Greek mythology actually uh, about spiders, but I wasn't really so much interested in learning about Greek mythology and how it looks at spiders. I was more like thinking about how we're cultures now uh, conceptualizing spiders. So that is what I found so far. But if you are from a different part of the world and you have a different take on spiders or what they represent to you, I definitely want to hear about it. I think it's really cool that like we can really see that the fear factor doesn't necessarily have to be there. Um, I mean, of course, as tarantula owners or people who are interested in spiders, you know that. Um, and you know that there are various ways to appreciate and look at these creatures, but I will say that still the majority of the population is very much uh, scared and not open to the idea that these creatures are so useful, so worthy, so amazing. So I hope that um, this encourages you to, to seek out other ideas. Anyway guys, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Please be healthy, be safe and well, and Spidey and I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.